Hey guys, what's up? This is Linny here from iOS Jailbreak Zone, and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 5.1.1, 5.0.1, 5.0, 4.3.5, .5, and previous firmwares on the iPhone 4, which I'm going to be using in this video, the iPod Touch 4G, the iPhone 4S, iPad 3, iPad 2, the original iPad, the original iPhone, uh, iPhone 2, iPhone 3GS, and the iPhone 3G. Also, the iPod Touch 1G, 2G, 3G, and as I said previously, also the 4G. Now, if you're running iOS 6 or 6.0.1, then there will be a link up here. So you can go ahead and click on that for the tethered jailbreak. But this is an untethered jailbreak, and as I said, this will work on 5.1.1. So let's get started. Now, you'll have to download Red Snow, which I'll be leaving a link down in the description below for it. And uh, if you're on Mac, then download the Mac version, or if you're on Windows, all you have to do is just download the Windows version and go into Properties, Compatibility, run this program in Compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3, and run this program as an administrator. Just click on OK, and open up Red Snow. Now this will prompt you, just click on Yes. Yep. And what you want to do now is, as you can see, my iPhone 4 is connected and it's on 5.0.1. So just go into jailbreak and we're going to be going into DFU mode. So just hold down the power button and the home button for 10 seconds. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let go of the power button, but keep holding the home button for 15 seconds or until Red Snow recognizes your iDevice. Just wait. And as you can see, Red Snow has started the jailbreak process. It's exploiting with Lime Rain. Waiting for reboot. Uploading the first stage. Yep, just wait for it. Yep. It did take some time as this is the first time I connected my iPhone 4 with this computer. So as you can see it's waiting for the reboot now. Just wait a while. As you can see it's preparing the jailbreak data now. It's processing the kernel. Yep, it's still going, it's patching the kernel now. Yep, and now we're going to be selecting install Cydia and nothing else, just install Cydia. Click on next. And as you can see, it's downloading, downloading the jailbreak data. And on Red Snow, as you can see, it's rebooting. Yep, it's done. The rest of the process will take place on your iDevice, so you can just exit out of Red Snow on your computer or Mac. And I am going to be skipping through this part. Now it's moving the applications. Now it's installing the bundles. Now it's rebooting. Yep, as you can see my device rebooted and it is an untethered jailbreak so I didn't need to boot up tethered and you should be able to see Cydia 
once that process is done now let's just go open up Cydia yep and as you can see it's just updating everything just wait for that the reason why this is so awesome is because the jailbreak is untethered and um, we are going to be receiving an untethered jailbreak for iOS 6.0.1 and iOS 6 so just be sure to subscribe for that video let's just scroll down yep and as you can see right now iPhone 4 GSM iOS 5.0.1 and this is running Cydia on version 1.1.8. Alright guys, that's about it for this video. If I was able to help you jailbreak your device, then just be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Click on the subscribe button right there if you haven't already. And also leave your comments down below in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next one.